This has been one of my favorite anime of the year. And as someone who gets off talking about deep characters and complex storylines, I have to admit, I'm a bit ashamed about that. That time I got reincarnated as a slime has so many things that should irritate me, starting with that stupid fitting title. The main character effortlessly gets more and more powers with practically no stakes. There is a sea of side characters introduced that I can't and won't care all about. And there is no clear overarching narrative that seems to tie the story together. Being a bit of a gourmet when it comes to the exquisite writing in stories like One Piece, Jujutsu Kaisen or Hunter x Hunter, I feel like I should be loathing this piece of feel-good escapist isekai. And yet I got damn love it. I loved the first season and what's even worse, I loved the second season even more. So whether you love or hate him or actually haven't seen the anime at all, let me tell you why I think that Rimuru Tempesto is such a fantastic character, why you should definitely watch the anime and why this little blue slime here makes such a fantastic story for me. Now, there are two things that make this anime so great to me. The setup of the story, as well as its main character, Rimuru Tempesto. Now, the big strength of this story to me is that it doesn't try to be clever or pretends to be anything it is not. It doesn't try to preach any deep messages, nor does it forcibly avert expectations and tropes just for the sake of it. Looking at you, Game of Thrones. Well, Danny kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet. It doesn't go out of its way to be creative, but it simply follows the rules of good writing. Characters are developed, the world is built, and everything that happens gets clean setup and foreshadowing. The story doesn't try to break the rules, but simply follows them with a lot of discipline. In other words, this anime knows what it is and what it is not. And absurdly enough, I think it's exactly this authenticity alone that makes it already stand out. The premise is as simple as the title suggests. A young man dies in our normal world and is reborn as a slime in another world, only of course that he gets ridiculous powers right from the get-go. Classic isekai escapism. From there on out, we basically follow our slime hero who shares our modern 21st century perspective as he discovers this new world, gets stronger and stronger, and starts building a small nation of monsters. Like, maybe it's just me, but that premise just hits a nerf with me. I've always loved strategic development games like Age of Empires, Harvest Moon, or hell, even Minecraft. Ooh. Yes, getting stronger is part of the fun, but the real struggle is in building something big. So as a kid, or even today sometimes, I like to daydream about what it would be like to be put into one of your favorite stories with the best set of powers and how you could build your own small, comfortable place with it. Does that make any sense? I think that Fuse, the author of Slime, I'm just gonna call it Slime from now on, I mean, come on. I think that's exactly what Fuse did when he created this story. Huh? Rimuru is not a shonen hero who has to get stronger, or even a hero like Saitama who needs to grow on the inside. Instead, he was already a pretty decent person and leader even back as a human. As we see in the first episode, his junior seems to like and respect him. And while his character does have a dark side to it sometimes... <laughs> I honestly think that this is nothing that has to be changed. Rimuru's character arc is not about growing from a boy into a man or from a man into a leader. It's about growing from a leader into a visionary that can change or form a whole society. So it's not really about him getting stronger or dealing with his emotions that we want to see, even though these things do happen. But to me, it's much more about Rimuru growing to be a leader, not of a small team in his company, but that of a whole nation. Learning about diplomacy and infrastructure and the politics of this world with the necessary power to back it up. Huh? 
貴様はもう少し腹ゲーというものを覚えた方が良いぞ Uh, uh. That's what the story is about and why it is so much fun to watch. And it really doesn't pretend to be anything more than that. A major factor in this context, at least to me, is the fact that Rimuru is a grown man that also acts like a grown man most、mm -hmm. of the time. He is a bit naive, but a quick learner, and most importantly, he is emotionally mature, something that is so incredibly refreshing for a main character in anime. Because it gives the entire story a certain maturity as well when it comes to his actions, decisions, and relationships with the other characters. <laughs> Even the fan service in the story, while undoubtedly there, holy cow, Shion, how can you walk with these? is definitely not as over the top as I thought in the beginning. Plus, it's surprisingly balanced between male and female characters. Let's just make everyone sexy. The main themes that I think are pretty easy to pick out right away include racial inequality, helping others, individual growth, positive civilization growth, choosing one's battles, as well as being compassionate but still rational. And let's be honest, these are all incredibly feel good themes, but even though I usually prefer darker stories, it Works for me because the anime compromises this with some quite graphic imaging, but more importantly, a shift in focus between the two seasons. Season 1 and 2 of Slime felt very, very coherent when I first watched them, but now that the season is over, I am disgusted to say that this is actually one of the rare cases where a season 2 actually made the season 1. Better. Ugh, feels weird saying that. <laughs> season 1 is all about getting familiar with our main character, a ton of world building, and the establishment of the nation in Yura Forest. And while this was a lot of fun to watch, to me there were some pretty big problems on the horizon should the story have simply continued on like this. I mean, in season 1, there are literally no stakes and no personal challenges for Dimuru. Also, the focus on our slime made it absolutely impossible to care for most, if Any of the many, many characters thrown in with every single episode. At the end, the village just feels like one faceless blob to me. Season 2, however, right off the bat, I feel did a fantastic job addressing all these potential pitfalls. <laughs> Rimuru losing Shion and many of his other friends not only gives him his first taste of reality and hardship, but it also provides some serious character development as well that pushes the narrative forward. For instance, he now has to deal with the fact that the three rules of civilization that he came up with on the fly in season 1 were hasty and unsustainable in the face of all the ill intent coming toward his new nation. <laughs> Overall, the story and world of slime takes on a darker shade, which immediately satisfies people like me who like some more complexity. Just because Rimuru is strong doesn't mean he can protect everyone all the time, and so he has to start handing off more and more responsibility to more and more of his followers. This immediately solves the other big issue with season 1. Instead of endlessly adding more no name characters to the village, we get characterization for all those from season 1, which ultimately Ultimately, has left me with a much better connection to characters like Benimaru, Gopta, or Shion than in the first season. All of these characters are now not only super powerful themselves, but also act independently from Rimuru, which is really refreshing to see. And all the characters that do get added all have fantastic, or at least interesting, personalities. Ramiris, Diabolo, and my boy Veldra are all very easy to relate to, even though we got very little of them in season 1. And by the way, I can't believe that they had Veldra do a Kamehameha. <laughs> Kamehameha! 
So despite a very simple and textbook setup, the story executes the rules of good storytelling so well that it's impossible for me not to like it and be super excited to see what comes next for Dimoru and his friends. I hope you want to watch a little bit more now, so if you want you can watch this video here next. Thanks for watching. And as someone who comes... <laughs> <laughs>